In this video, I'll show you Windor Plus's new polygonal functionality. Let's start with an arched casement. First, you must draw a face in the shape of the casement on the ground plane in the active model. Please, not inside a component or group. Now select the face and from the extensions menu, select the Windor Plus menu and from the sub menu, click on create a custom shaped window from the selected face. The dialog box will appear. Click OK to create the arched window and place it in your model. The model origin will become the casement component input point. When applying a custom material to the glass or panel, apply the outward facing material to the front face of the upper sheet and the inward facing material to the back of the upper sheet's face. You can also apply the custom material to the lower sheet as well as to the back of the upper sheet's face, but if you don't apply it to the upper sheet, it will be lost in the next edit when the component is programmatically remodeled because the extension will only read the upper sheet's material data. This is a change in how the extension used to work, so remember when editing old windows and door leaves. Here I have converted the window to 2D, a good way of saving bytes. As you can see, the back of the 2D window has retained the custom glass material. You can make the window 3D again at any time you like. To use the context menu, select the window and right click on it. Select the Edit Custom Shaped Window option from the drop down menu. A dialog box appears, offering many but not all of the options available to rectangular window plus windows. Here I have selected Size, and from the four options for size editing, I have selected edge length. This lets you change the size of the window to suit a particular edge length. In the edge length dialog box, the top drop down field shows all the edge lengths in the window, and you pick one. In the lower field, type in a new edge length, OK it, and the entire window gets adjusted in the proportion of the new edge to the old edge. Notice that the glass and frame materials are retained despite the edit. The arched window can be placed over a rectangular window plus window. I will later show how these can be incorporated into a wall in your building. But first I want to show you how to create a multi-casement polygonal window and why it might be useful and necessary to be able to easily create non-orthogonal windows. I've prepared this set of faces and although they look rectangular, you can see on closer inspection that they are skewed. This might be a window outline measured from an old building where the structure has deformed over time. So let's make a window from these sketch faces. First select the faces and then from the extension menu select the window or plus suite and from the drop down sub menu click on create an assembly of custom shaped win windows from selected faces. Pretty soon you have a multi casement window. Now let's convert some of the casements to opening casements. The casements temporarily turn blue as the software cycles through them, enabling you to select the ones you want to change. I've changed the top two casements under the arch to opening casements. In order to make the frame profiles have equal width all around, you can turn on the outer frame option. In this case, rebate it. I will now locate the window on a wall and cut the opening. Sills and glazing bars are not available on polygonal windows, but you can combine polygonal windows with window plus rectangular windows. In this way, you can have all the benefits of the window plus rectangular window or door, combined with parametric polygonal casements or side lights. Incorporating them into your building is quite easy. Place the rectangular window and the polygonal window on the wall and then cut the opening for each separately. It is that simple.
You can make really fun shaped windows, like this star shaped window. You can edit its size. You can edit its profile. You can edit its glass thickness. You can pop it onto a wall and cut the opening. Similarly, you can make a multi-casement star-shaped window. This might be a rose window in a church or hall. You can place it on the wall, add an outer frame and cut the opening with just a few clicks. Organically shaped windows are just as easy. If you are in the film industry and need fantasy buildings, this might be just the thing you need. I'm thinking SpongeBob here. and Dracula's castle with this one. You can edit them just as easily as any window in the Window Plus suite. Cutting the opening, or adding an outer frame, and then cutting the opening. It is all done in just a few clicks. Thank you for watching and I hope this has inspired you and that you will buy the new Windor Plus. Available now from the SketchUp Extension Warehouse.